And welcome to a very special live feed link, link, leak <laughs> episode. Do, 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 do. I wish I had a soundboard that I could be like, do, 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 and like little special sound of this is the breaking news report. Um, because, oh my God, the live feed link leak. <laughs> it's really hard to get a link to the leak. I mean, I will just say this. I downloaded that video because I knew that that was getting taken down right away. Uh, so I downloaded it. Now, I am not posting that anywhere as near my Twitter, but um, I can put it, I guess, in the patron group. I guess I can do that. Um, but yes, so uh, yeah. Speaking of, oh, uh, this intro it is filled with information, so you better listen. Uh, first of all, yourrealityrecaps.com slash BB21. If you want to see any of our past shows back, like the one we just did with Ovi, or any you miss any of these live feed update shows, if you need flashback times, where you are in the trash draft, spoiler graphics, um, just all of it is over on our website, yourrealityrecaps.com slash BB21. If you miss the shows when we do them live. And amazing news, as you guys know, we do the shows live on TV Co., the Big Brother shows. TV Co. has now updated their website, and I'm being told live right now from the chat room, the video quality has been fixed. It is no longer blurry and weird, so if you have been staying away because you were not a fan of the video quality, the video quality is now fixed on the live TV Co. shows, so make sure you go to yourrealityrecaps.com uh, slash TV Co., download the app so you can watch us do all of our Big Brother shows live there. Uh, that is where our official shows are. Of course, we are also live over on You Now as well, uh, doing daily shows, talking about reality TV, um, and of course, Big Brother a little bit. Those are like the unofficial Big Brother. Basically, TV Co. is where we look like this and we're professional. Uh, you Now is where we talk about a whole bunch of stuff and BB like unprofessionally. You know, like I'll make my bed and tell you what I'm raging about. You know, stuff like that. So <laughs> make sure that you check it out. Of course, you can't see all of this without the feeds, your realityrecaps.com slash feeds. So make sure you get them from us. Or if you want to watch the feeds for free, uh, become an updater, your realityrecaps.com slash updaters. We give prizes to the updaters and promote them. And uh, we could really use a late night uh, West Coaster. So you're, if, a, if you're a late night West Coast feed watcher, um, fill out the form. You would really appreciate you coming and being part of the YR fam. Um, and then, of course, lastly, uh, yourrealityrecaps.com slash patron. You get access to the patron-only Facebook group, prize giveaways, weekly shows, John's cooking shows, the weekly meal kits, um, the after shows with the house guests, like the one we just did with Ovi. I mean, it is a great way to help support our shows. We really appreciate uh, that. That, uh, or if you have any Amazon shopping to do, yourrealityrecaps.com slash Amazon. Uh, you don't pay any more. It really helps us out. And if you're watching on YouTube, thumbs up and subscribe. Leave a comment below. Five-star rating and a nice review on iTunes. Share on all social media. Share away. I don't care if you like what we're saying. Just like it and share it. Tell a friend. It's the summer. Aren't you guys out at events? You're like out at a party. You just be like, hey, if you heard a reality of recaps, you need to download that podcast. Do it for me. <gasps> Maybe you're in Best Buy and there's a whole bunch of computers or the Apple store. You go and you type in in the web browser, yourrealityrecaps.com, and you leave it open. Can you please all be my marketing team? I appreciate it and thank you. <laughs> um, so tired I was up all last night watching the feeds so was I and I am going to try and recap all of the drama for you right now cause there was so much and honestly oh my god what was even better to me than the you know the fight 
was the Julie stuff. Oh, we're going to get into all of it right now. Let's get into it all right now, and hopefully I won't die and puke in my own mouth. Um, but I did forget, I did forget to tell you all one very important thing that I would really appreciate. If you guys only do one thing, and by the way, it's to help all of you. Yes, it's for me, but it's for me to help all of you. If you could take a second and follow us on Instagram, yourrealityrecaps.com slash Instagram will bring you right there. Or if you know you're just in Instagram, just search for Reality Recaps and follow us. I would very much appreciate it. Uh, because apparently if we get 10,000 followers, which I'm sure is not even happening within this year, but uh, if that happens, then we can post links. And I would just love to be able to post links uh, on Instagram. It'll make it easier for people to access the show uh, if to watch it back. But to make it worth your while, I'm doing weekly giveaways on Instagram now, and I'm posting exclusive clips only to Instagram. So I would appreciate that. Now, let's talk, oh my God, all this Big Brother drama. I just... I just. Now, I want to go back. I want to go back for one second to a, like, just a touch of drama um, that happened before because I think it was a very funny moment. It was a very funny moment over on the live feeds when um, Jessica, Kat, and Nick and Nicole were all talking about what life uh, is going to be like once they get out of the Big Brother house. And Nicole was being the Nicole that we all love. You want to watch us? Going to watch no, us. That's the first thing I was going to do. I want to watch when I stayed, and I'm just going to zoom in on your face. And then laugh. And then say, and then do it on Bill's face. Oh, <laughs> well, this is the thing, honestly. Savage! Oh, so savage. I love Nicole. I just love how she's like, I'm going to watch how you couldn't screw me over and then laugh. And then watch how your girlfriend couldn't screw me over and laugh. And then I'm going to laugh and laugh. And I'm telling you right to your face. <laughs> love Nicole. Love Nicole. Nicole is the best. I love her. All right. So getting into this entire feed link drama, I feel like I'm going to give you the overview first because look, here's what happened. Apparently, as we know yesterday, those of us who were watching the live feeds, um... There, we thought that there was going to be a feed, uh, a feed flip, a vote flip. We thought that there was a possibility that Sam was going to stay because just like Big Brother always does, they cut the feeds before the Thursday show. But they did not need to cut the feeds during this. Honestly, they could have left the feeds on. They cut them on purpose because they need drama and people tuning in on the Sunday night show. It just figures that the first time we get actual, real, great drama, they cut the feeds and we didn't get to see it. Well, apparently... The way it works, I believe, is, you know, there's the people in the control room at CBS. And then, you know, like, they're the hub. And then they send their feed to all the other places that are going to broadcast it. So one of those places being Canada and the Canadian station. Now, the Canadian station will not get the feed in the way that CBS has it, whereas CBS has all the monitors and yada, yada, yada. The Canadian feed will just get the final output feed of what um, the show is so that they can push it out to their network. Yes, in case you're wondering, blame Canada. Um, so... Before the live shows, they will give them the feed of the house and of the audience and of Julie and of all those things so that obviously they can check their sound levels and yada, yada, yada. Well, all of this drama was happening 
Well, that feed was being sent to the Canadian network. And apparently, somebody in the Canadian network room recorded it and posted it on YouTube. <laughs> so, I mean, you're fired. And thank you. Because it was gold. Look, I know so many people are super duper um, loving getting to hear all of the arguing, which I am too, because number one, we're going to get a five minute condensed version of this fight that went on for over an hour. We're going to get a condensed hour, a 10 minute version of this fight, and I would have liked to have seen the whole entire thing uh, on the feet. So that kind of sucks. We also don't get to see it from in the room with the fighting, which you will see when we bring up this clip. And obviously, I'm not going to be able to play an 80-minute clip right now. We're going to, like, jump around and try and see what the good parts are uh, that we can find. Now, it has been, if you are arriving late, it ends up being taken down off YouTube, usually within an hour at this point. CBS has already flagged the video for copyright infringement, so pretty much now, when anybody uploads the video, it pretty much gets taken down within an hour or two max. That being said, oh, I downloaded it last night. The second that I think JJ came into the Twitch show and said, oh my god, red alert, red alert, there is an amazing video that you need to watch and you need to hurry up because it's going to be taken down. <laughs> I was like, uh-huh. And I was like, I am sorry, it is Fortnite season 10 and I scheduled this night for the past four weeks and I am playing and I am playing. <laughs> but I downloaded it. Um, it's still up and working on my PC. Oh, it's not on, uh, it's not on mine. You might have it saved to your cache, so don't restart your PC if you don't want to lose it. Either way, I have the video saved, number one. So I'm thinking, I guess maybe I can post it in the patron group? I'll figure out how to do that. Like, obviously, I don't want to post it on anything that's attached to any of our real stuff, but the patron group is private, so... It's already in there, says Leslie. Okay, good. And the and the version of it that's in there is working? Like, you can play that one? Because I've tried to play, like, four of them today, and none of them, they've all been taken down. I have one that's working right now. Thank God, because we need it for the show. Do we get to see the fighting? You don't get to physically see. You're not in the room with the arguing specifically. No. But you can hear it. And I'm going to give you the synopsis right now. I'm going to give you the synopsis of it right now. So basically, um, uh, that was the best part of all of it. What was? They were loud. They were so loud. They were so incredibly loud. I was trying to think of um, of how to phrase this for you, and then I saw that somebody posted, like, a comment from the YouTube video, which really does explain it perfectly, and then we'll get into all of it. So first, I will just give you the overview for those of you that are confused. Okay. So, now this is according to Nicole. This is according to Nicole. The reason that the entire fight began before, you know, all of this went down was that Jack, Christy, Nicole, and Sis were all in the have-not room and talking about, like, how are things going to work going forward? How are things going to work as, you know, the season kind of progresses along? Then Nicole went downstairs and Jackson basically started interrogating Nicole and like, what were you guys talking about up there? Why were you alone? Are you know, what are you doing? Are you changing the vote? Yada, yada, yada. And apparently Nicole told him off. Now, here's the first thing. 
I, I would love to see this. I cannot wait for Sunday's show because if Nicole actually told off Jackson, I will be in heaven. But anyway, apparently Nicole told off Jackson, then went back upstairs and told Jack, Christy, and Sis, Jackson was just nasty, he just confronted me, he was just really mean to me, yada, yada, yada. So that kind of sent Christy spiraling a little bit. Okay, so now... At the start of the video, which we're going to, again, I'm going to just jump around the video. I don't have time stamps of when things happened. We're just going to kind of jump around. I was watching it literally from like 4 a.m. until 6 a.m. this morning. Um, okay, so at the start of the video, obviously Sam is going to be evicted. But Jack, okay, Jack, not Jackson, Jack lets out the information that Jackson told him earlier that um, Holly and Kat know each other and have a connection outside of the house, okay? So Jack tells that um, to Jackson. Now, side note, I feel like I should just stick this in right here. Fast forward to after all of this happens... Jackson is claiming, Jackson is claiming that he did not say that to Jack, that he said it on day two, but that it was like, like a suspicion, like he didn't know it for a fact, so he told Jack on day two, and then earlier yesterday was basically saying to Jack, um... We can't trust Christy. And the, uh, part of the reason that we can't trust Christy uh, is because it doesn't make sense. Oh, we can't trust Christy. And then Jack kind of said, oh, but we can trust Kat. And then apparently Jackson kind of alluded to, yeah, we can because Kat and um, Holly have a relationship outside of the house. But Jackson was using it as points as to why they couldn't trust Christy, if that makes sense. So he wasn't really going to Jack with the, here's the tea about Cat and Holly. He was just kind of throwing it out as a point of all his bullet points against Christy. Because obviously, if you've been watching the live feed daily shows, you're aware that Jackson and Christy are going at each other, waiting for who's going to make the first move. Okay? Are we all good so far? So back to the drama video. Jack tells Christy that Jackson told him that Kat and Holly know each other outside of the house, which we are aware is true from the modeling. Okay, great. Then Christy, Annalise, and Tommy all get told by from Christy, and then all hell breaks loose because um, Annalise... Christy, Jack, Tommy, and Kat all feel like if Holly and Kat know each other, then it's clear Jackson is part of that as well. And the part that I don't understand, and like we really don't get an answer to this, what brought Jackson into it as well? That's the part that makes no sense. So basically... Everybody is thinking that Jackson, Holly, and Kat all know each other in the real world. And they don't want to let the three of them get to jury as a trio. Um, and then uh, JJ Wisconsin says, Jack was trying to convince Jackson that Cliff, Nick, Kat, and Sam had been planning this for weeks and were feeding Jackson false info because there was no way Christy was lying. I know. J I, I know. But there are so many names in this story and so many ways it twists. Uh, here's how I was going to just explain that to try and make it less confusing to people. While all of this is happening... Jack is trying to protect Christy 
with Jackson, and Tommy is kind of also trying to protect Christy from Jackson. Meaning, when Jackson's getting mad about stuff, Jack is trying to, like, deflect a little bit off of Christy. And Tommy is kind of trying to deflect a little bit off Christy. Both of them are trying to save Christy a little bit when this is all going on. So that is just... I feel like easier than getting into the next 10 group of names for all of you of who has been saying what. But yes, what JJ said is correct. Specifically, what Jack was trying to do was um, kind of like pin it on Cliff and Nick and Kat and Sam to Jackson. Okay, so the alliance is splitting in half. The alliance is splitting in six. Well, three. Hmm. The Lions could be splitting, like, Holly and Jackson kind of, sort of, versus everyone else. Maybe a little bit. There's a lot. Okay, so let's go back to more points from the video. So now, Holly and Kat deny that they ever knew each other or, you know, that any of this happened. And that Jackson now is making the entire story up. Because he wants Kat gone. So Holly, um, Holly and Kat are saying Jackson's lying. We never told Jackson that we know each other. Clearly, this is something that he's making up to try and get the vote to flip so that we will keep Sam. Now, here's my only part where this doesn't make sense to me on the side of Tommy, Annalise, Jack, and Christy. If that's true, and that's the argument of, like, Jackson's trying to flip the vote to get out Cat, then doesn't that negate the main part of the Jack- Christy, Tommy, Annalise story of all three of them know each other in real life and they want to stick together? Because if they all knew each other in real life and wanted to stick together, why would Jackson want Cat out? That's just the part where, and I mean, and clearly something, which we won't really know what it is, but something ended up being happening to make them all still vote out Sam. So I have a feeling that might be part of the revelation that caused them all to, at least for this vote, still stick together um, and vote out Sam. Um, this, oh, the Jess and Jack combo could go on for hours. Right. They're morons. They're absolute morons. Okay, but let's keep going. So then, um, because... Christy found, because now Christy in hearing that thinks that um, Jackson now wants Kat to be evicted. Now Christy says, fine, then whatever Jackson wants, I want the complete opposite. So if Jackson wants uh, Kat to go, then we're voting to keep Kat. Whatever the opposite is of what Jackson wants is what we're going to do. And for some reason... Everybody always listens to Christy. Christy is able to cry, lie, and convince everybody. And I do have to say this. Like Christy or hate Christy, a lot of this came to be because Christy exposed Jackson's vote to the other side and kind of betrayed the six shooters first. It is amazing to me that Christy has been able to take this entire situation, manipulate it, so that the focus now is all on Jackson and Holly, basically, and at the same time, keeping Jack in her corner and Tommy in her corner while pivoting everyone else against Jackson. Like Christy or hate Christy, 
it is it's kind of brilliant what she how she has been able to spin this whole entire thing and people are actually believing it. Debbie Dawn says, seems like everyone wants to give Christy 500k. Such dumbasses. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Okay, so now, um, everybody wants Sam out again because Christy says so. Um, Christy is doing things like calling Jackson a, sta a snake and that he's the worst. And basically, Jackson becomes the outcast uh, uh, of the during this whole argument, he ends up, like, walking out of the boat room, slamming the door, stomping around. It, that part was pretty great. He ends up getting into an argument with Tommy and, um, I think Jack. I do have that clip, so we're gonna watch that. But basically, here's the moral of the story. The entire fight that happened in the boat room with all of the six shooters, here's what it actually did. It exposed their whole entire game and everything that's been going on to everyone that was not in their alliance. Because everyone else, Nick, um, Cliff, Nicole, Jessica, um, who else is in there? <laughs> Sam... They were all standing right around, literally hearing everything that has been these people's games up into this point. It also exposed Cliff a little bit. Cliff also got exposed a little bit during it, which I freaking love. Um, it's amazing her entire game was exposed and she came out on top. Seriously, Christy's untouchable. <laughs> Christy is untouchable. Uh, I predict Christy goes home in third place. Oh, sure, 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 sure. Sure, 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 sure. Because here's the thing. Christy's game, brilliant right now. But it's a game where when the people make it into jury... And then they can, you know, stop gaming and the truth will come out. That's when the people are going to feel betrayed by Christy. Because I do not feel, and granted, jury has only started right now. We'll see the way Christy starts working the two people on the block right now. The downfall of any buddy's game in Big Brother is not making sure that the people leaving understand your game and respect your game before they leave. A lot of people think the most important thing is making final two. Sure, if you want 50K. I say the most important thing you have to do in Big Brother once you made it to this point of jury starting, which PS is also when you should start playing the game and you really should do nothing up until this point, uh, you need to make sure those jurors understand and respect the moves that you made in the game. Because when Christie's game gets exposed in jury, everybody is going to find out that she is a giant liar and feel personally betrayed, and then it will be a bitter jury. And here's the glorious part. Here's the glorious part. All of these people are so enraged over the fact that um, Kat and Holly have a relationship outside of the game, which is like a stupid relationship of, oh, we're in pageants and whatever together. Wait until these people find out about Tommy and Christy. Now, if Big Brother wants to destroy Tommy and Christy's game... They will somehow get that information out before the final vote is in on finale night. I'm hoping that they wait until after the final keys have been placed in that box for the winner to reveal that information. Because in all honesty, like them or hate them, whether you love their game or hate their game, respect it or not... It wouldn't be fair to tell them, you guys are going in as part of this twist, 
and then we're going to expose your twist halfway through or at some point through because everyone else basically gets to keep their lies and secrets in the game of Big Brother unless another house guest exposes them. I don't feel it's fair when Big Brother steps in to expose something about you um, because then it invalidates your whole entire game. Like, why did you even bother playing? You were just going to send me here to make me be uh, known as a liar from production, then why am I even here? But it'll be interesting. It'll very be, in it'd be very interesting. Okay, so, and sure, it's an unfair advantage, but again, not an unfair advantage that they did. They're not the producers of the show. They're people like you and me that got picked to play. And if any of us that love this game got picked to play and then found out as we were going in, oh, hey, surprise, we also cast your brother, your cousin, your twin. None of us would go, okay, we're leaving. This is ruining the integrity of the thing I've wanted my whole life. You can't be mad at them for production manipulating their games. You just can't. Um... <coughs> Okay, so, 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 Alex and Morgan were actually family and nothing was exposed. True. Mm hmm Well, they let them tell it, didn't they? Pretty sure they let them tell it. Um, okay, I'm going to play this clip first. Instead of jumping around the um, other, uh, the leak clip, I'm going to do this one first, which is one of the ones that I was just telling you about. So this is basically when afterwards, or maybe this was more in the middle, where Tommy goes and confronts Jackson. And Tommy is like, how are we supposed to trust you? Like, you lied to us. How are we supposed to trust you? How are we supposed to trust you now, uh, Jackson? So this is one of the good um, arguments. And I see when Texas Sally says, for fuck's sake, I hate when Eric gets all logical. I'm just saying, I just try to remind everyone, look, I'm all for fun feeds. And look, I'm in this drama with all of you. And I love when it's drama and it's crazy. But we can also enjoy the crazy while also understanding it's sometimes not these people's fault. <laughs> Make hey, here a we new go. alliance without us because you don't I wasn't trying to make a new alliance. I said I didn't know if I could tell y'all that I was told that Christy was making a side alliance because what if you are with her trying to make a side alliance? I'm what not, if you are? But I, but I don't, wasn't on the list. So why this, would why why wouldn't you this trust goes me? After, this, goes, you you me Jackson? this goes back to what I was saying last night. <laughs> I'm getting hit with a lot of information. Yeah. Sorry that I don't immediately turn and run my mouth to everyone. I'm trying to figure shit out of my head before I vocalize it. And then I'm still vocal trying to vocalizing. Jack because I thought I could trust Jack. Wait, you were vocal. You already felt comfortable enough vocalizing building a new crew without us. I've never you said didn't feel building a new crew. I've never said anything about building a new alliance. I said that I didn't know if I could share, you remember the details that I was saying I can't discuss? I didn't know if I could share them with y'all because I didn't know if I could trust y'all. Because what if this shit with Christy's true? What if y'all are working with Christy over me? How what if my grandma had balls, then my grandma would be grandpa? And yes, Tommy was well aware of that side alliance because he was in the room when that side alliance was being made. So this, that statement, that statement was for the, I think, benefit of Jack, who is standing right there, which I found interesting that Jackson didn't um, mention. How am I supposed to know that? I'm still trying to figure out shit in my own head. So yes, like I told y'all, there are more details that I don't know if I can reveal. That is why. But in no such as and then many details such as then many of them which I may or may not be able to reveal but they're huge. That's scary. At no that's because scary. I'm still trying to figure shit out of my head. No, that you have more details that you don't want to reveal. You what? already heard them. You've already you heard just them. said that, that I didn't hear them. This still. was going back to the conversation we had last night and this morning when y'all were sitting there saying you can't, you have to in bed this Jackson, morning. Jackson, if you don't feel comfortable vocalizing things to us right away, fine. But you felt comfortable enough to start building a new crew without us. That I never showed to that who? This with thing. whom? Who am I? Who am I building Did a new crew? Did that not happen? Are you, no. Are you denying that that I happened? Am, yes, I am denying that. Because I'm not happen. building a new crew with anyone. 
there was already a crew in play. It was clear. Um, I was there, so I'm um, pretty sure you were. <laughs> you, you two, Cliff and Cat. That was already a thing. It was never. It was. Oh wait, that was it, right? Cat, I mean, last night. It was in already. Bed. Okay, yeah, that's the end. Uh, so that was like a um, a little bit of the of their first fight. Well, not first fight. I believe that was after. Uh, after that happened. They need to remember it was Christy. They need to remember what was Christy. Um, I feel like we should do Shady and then Amazing. Shady and then Amazing. So, let's all now. We had a little bit of Jackson being like super... Uh, yes, Tommy did. I should say that. Tommy did uh, admit that he was misunderstood. That clip, what I thought that that clip was, what, was that the one where it goes on more and then he basically says that Cliff is the one who exposed it in the boat room? I feel like when that conversation kept going, he then tells Jack, yeah, he then tells Jackson like, Cliff told everyone. Cliff just outed everyone, just outed it in the boat room. Maybe that's in the bigger clip, and we'll try and find that in the bigger clip. These people are in the boat room killing each other, and Nicole's like, you look, you look kind of pretty. I, I like what you're wearing tonight. This is a nice stop. I think America's going to like that. Purple is really your color. I look, you guys look great. You look really good today. I really appreciate what you guys are doing. You really like, you took some effort, and you're really doing it nice. <laughs> I love it. I love, love, love me some Nicole. Um, okay, so I feel like um, we covered the majority of those things. Wait, there was one other clip. Uh, it really annoys me that my bookmarks are not syncing um, between the phone and the computer. Because I also want to make sure that I don't forget, uh, I want to make sure that I don't forget to mention this part. Basically what's happening right now, so the only other thing that you need to know is after the HOH, which of course was won by Jessica, the memory HOH was won by Jessica, she's not really sure what she wants to do. There was, there was definitely fallout after the HOH. Um, uh, Jack was crying. Jackson told Jack that you broke my heart. You broke my heart, Jack. Shut up. Fucking cares. Uh, so there was definitely, like, fallout after the HOH and Jessica, you know, winning. And what is happening on the live feeds right now, if you missed the show earlier... Um, is Jessica is finally having her one-on-one. -on -one. So we will get into all the things that have happened uh, in Jessica's one-on-ones on tomorrow's show. I just wanted to make sure that I did not leave this clip out. This is now obviously after the whole fight, which we're going to watch in a minute, and uh, last night, I don't think we know anything she's learning yet, but maybe we will. Uh, this is basically what Jessica's plan is going to be for nominations later today, right? Okay, this is what Jessica's plan is going to be. And that I was able to, that, that I feel, that I feel, sorry, that I feel like empowered uh -huh. that I can keep all of us yes. safe for one more week. And Ooh. like, and, and you being on the block, and you was going home. Mm -hmm. I felt so powerless yeah. because nobody wanted to tell me anything and nobody ever wants to tell us anything. And you're horrible in this game. I wasn't a part of the conversation no. to keep you or to be able to tell you what was going on. And I hate that feeling. Yeah. So today, mm -hmm. I'm I wasn't even just... In the conversation to save me. Okay, so pause. So I just want to just point out, just to keep it real for one hot second with Jessica. Again, I'm going to preface, Jessica in the real world, amazing woman, female empowerment, love her, think she is going to be an amazing asset to the Big Brother community in the real world, love all of her real life personality. 
but Jessica in this game is useless. So that is why nobody talks game with you. <laughs> because you have no ability to really do anything or make anything happen until this point. Until this point when you won HOH and now people have to go, oh shit, we have no relationship with Jessica. However, here is where Jessica made me fall for her a little bit is when she says this. I love this just I'm, so much. I'm I love just this in just this so empowered much. mood of like, I don't give a flying F <laughs> what people are thinking right now. I want them to scatter like cockroaches. I want them to be able to throw each other under the bus and I want to see everybody's colors so it makes it that much easier oh for me to gosh, not yes. feel bad. And there you go. So Jessica's point of what has basically just started on the live feeds right now. Jessica did not really talk game with anybody last night. She wanted everyone to feel uneasy. And now going into her one-on-ones, she is hoping that she's going to be able to draw information out of people, that people are going to start throwing each other under the bus, that she's going to get information that she needs to make the best move possible. Now also, the little bit of the downside of all of this is as of last night, and I'm sure... Maybe if there are live feed updaters in the chat room or you guys correct me if this has changed at all. As of last night, she was saying she wants Jack to be her target. Which I think is stupid. I mean, it makes sense in the fact that keep Jackson in the game, let Christy and Jackson go after each other. All right. Fine. And I get taking out a guy, but and breaking up the four is smart. I agree with you, breaking up the four is smart, but I don't think Jack is the biggest threat to Jessica's game, is my only point. I don't think Jack is the biggest threat to Jessica's game. That's all I'm saying. I feel like she's making a little bit of a move to help other people over her... Like, yes, getting a number off of their side is going to be great for her as well, 100%. And we know with the voting and the third nominee and all of that, that um, there is a chance they could get the numbers back. If they play this correctly, if they play this correctly, they could end up getting the numbers back, I believe, onto their side. But here's the other downfall. Jessica stupidly said that in front of Cliff and Kat. And Kat is not loyal to anybody. Kat might be a little bit more loyal to that, you know, the Jackson and Holly and that side of the house. Maybe a little bit more loyal, but she is not loyal to anybody. She will do whatever is best for her game at any moment. I know she hates Jackson. I know she wants Jackson out, but she loves and trusts her relationship with Holly. You have to remember, she trusts Holly so much in this game that she was willing to put herself on the block knowing that the person she hates the most, Jackson, is in a relationship with Holly. So trust me, she trusts Holly immensely in this game, and I think that is why she will fall to that side over the Jess, Nicole, kind of, sort of, Nick, and sort of, kind of, Cliff side. So number one, bad move saying all that in front of Kat. Number two, worst move saying it in front of Cliff. Because as we've seen time and time again, Cliff will sell your asses down the river in two seconds. Cat at least says she's doing it because she's on her own side and yada, yada, yada. Part of me just think Cliff likes to be the snaky rat. Cliff will, Cliff just, whatever. 
and I don't know how Jessica doesn't realize it. It really disappointed me. I loved that conversation until I realized Kat and Cliff were sitting there. They honestly, they should have been left out of the loop. They should have just been brought in the, in the end and said, this is what's going to happen. Can we all work together? I got to keep this circle tight. Of course, I trust you. That's why I'm not going after you. But we just saw today too much stuff gets leaked. I needed to know, you know, the information stayed and couldn't pop. I don't know. I don't know. It's, I guess it's easy when we're watching it, but whatever. Cat and Cliff follow the power back and forth. 100% Bridget. Um, after what happened yesterday, Cat said the four made her feel she was less than a person and was disposable to them whatever here's my favorite part and i think maybe it was you bridget i think maybe i saw it on your twitter earlier um cat recorded a goodbye message to herself is that true i mean obviously it's true that shit's hysterical I honestly don't think that she came up with that herself. I think that was production's idea. But either way, now I can't wait for Kat to be evicted. I love it. <laughs> I love that when she gets evicted. That is perfect Kat. Again, I love Kat. I love a lovable, funny idiot. And that's what Kat is. She is a lovable, funny idiot. And I think she's going to be great in the real world to have on this show because I just, I think she's brilliant. <laughs> I think she really doesn't take anything that seriously and always finds humor in everything. So I, I kind of love that. Have they, dev ha have they done have nots yet? Uh, I don't think so. Um, no, they have not. No, not yet. And by the way, one more thing. Let me just say, well, let me say two things, then I swear we're going to get to this video. Um, if you want, like, more of the details about any of this, uh, I'm sure that you guys know at BB21 Live Feeds on Twitter, the Live Feed updaters were literally tweeting out the play-by-play -play all night long. I don't think there was any break from the Live Feed updaters last night. I mean, literally, I saw no one else updating a damn thing, and it was like 5.30 in the morning, and there's our live feed update. I was like, updating away. <laughs> and I was like, thank God. So if you really want to read the play-by-play -play and get everything that happened, just scroll through the um, updater's Twitter account. Yeah, Ashley says, we were up until like 6 a.m. BB time. I know. Believe I was too. I was watching you guys. It was amazing. Hopefully, maybe later in the season, if, you know, there isn't so much great stuff happening, we can play around more uh, with that. You do end up, uh, well, I'll say this. I did post some clips of it already to the Instagram. So again, if you are not following our Instagram, yourrealityrecaps.com slash Instagram. Um, so I did post some clips. I kind of liked this. I just thought it was, like, really cool to see, you know, we never really get to see the stage when there is people on it or where the camera people will be or, you know, pulled out so much. So it was just kind of cool. It was kind of cool to get to see, like, a different uh, aspect of what we normally get to see on Big Brother. Um, I'm going to be like Swaggy C and propose marriage to Kemi. For what? Marriage. Oh, to Kemi. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm like, what are you talking about? Um, and that's where you put that song from the Green Keepers that Julie is singing, you know, the one about puts the lotion on the skin. Oh my god. Uh, but up, but up, but okay, let me see. Do, 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 do. 
Um, hold on. Uh, ba -ba -ba. I'll look for that tomorrow. I don't know where that is. It's my bookmarks aren't showing up. I don't know where it is. That other conversation. It doesn't matter. Um, we. I will find it for tomorrow. Plus, we've already had an hour and forty minute show. So I'm going to say goodbye to all of you now. I'm going to remind you that you can um go to realityrecaps.com/bb21. Check out our OV show or other stuff. The like where you're placing in the trash draft or live feed updates or past shows all over on our website. Um, if you'd like to be a live feed updater, we could use people for the West Coast feed, yourrealityrecaps.com slash updaters. Um, we are live on You Now every night, yourrealityrecaps.com slash you now. And of course, where you're watching live right now on TV Co., yourrealityrecaps.com slash TV Co. Uh, if you would like to help support our shows, become a patron, you guys know all you get. Watch the beginning if you don't. Uh, help support us uh, by starting your Amazon shopping with us. YourRealityRecaps.com slash Amazon. And of course, the best thing uh, to do for free is share our shows, like our content on social media, tell people about it in the real world, in your real life, and follow us on that damn Instagram. I will see all of you guys back here on TV Co. at 8 p.m. tonight for The Kemi Show. Bye for now, everybody. Bye. Bye.